Hey everybody, welcome to the 18th video in the series on using SynthEdit. Today we're going to talk about using prefabs. A prefab is kind of like a module. It's just a container containing various modules set up to perform a certain function. It's saved as a SynthEdit file, just like our Synth project, except the purpose of this is to be able to add it to other projects easily. We're going to take our delay effect that we created last time, save it as a prefab, and then I'll show you how to add it to your own projects. This is really easy to do, and it'll only take a minute. Okay, so here we have the main container for our project. To create a prefab, all we need to do is have one container inside this main container to include everything in. So I'm going to cut the delay from inside the synth container and paste it inside the main container. Now I can delete everything else, the keyboard, the synth, and the sound out module. With the delay container by itself, I'll go to save as and name it TTS underscore delay. Remember, I'm saving this as a synth edit file, just like the synth that we've been creating. We could have even used the entire synth as a prefab if we wanted to, but the idea behind prefabs is to create smaller reusable packages, like this delay, that we can drop into other projects. It wouldn't make much sense to drop the whole synth that we've been creating into another project that you might be working on. However, a delay is a universal thing that we may want to include in other projects. All you need to do is make sure that the delay file is in the prefabs folder wherever you installed SynthEdit. Inside the prefabs folder is a folder called effects. I'll put the delay in there. If I close down and restart SynthEdit, I can go and delete the delay from the original project. Right click and go to insert and then click on prefabs. Here you can select the delay file that we just moved here and it's added to the project. Now just hook it up as it was before. And there you go. Our little delay effect is now saved as a prefab and it can be used in any other project. You can just build this delay yourself and save it in the prefab folder, or click on the link in the description to download one that's already been made for you. All you need to do is extract it to your prefab folder. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.